Let's solve another problem in subnetting. Let's dive into the question directly. The question is, in a block of addresses, we know the IP address of one host is 25.34.12.56 and the subnet mask is represented in a slash notation which is slash 16 in this case. What is the first address that is the network address in this block? So we are given with an IP address and the subnet mask and we are required to find out what is the first address in this subnet. So we have many ways to solve this question. Let me take the well-known method and then I will also give you another way to solve this problem. Let's take the well-known method. From the question, it is clear that the IP address mentioned in the question is a class A IP address but applied with class B subnet mask. So the class B subnet mask is 255.255.0.0. When we convert that into binary, we will be getting all ones in the first octet, all ones in the second octet and zeros in the next two octets. Now, in order to find the subnet generator, we need to travel from right to left and the first one we are encountering is here, right? So here is the first one we are encountering. And what is the decimal place of that? The decimal place of that is 1 only. Please note it's not other numbers, it's 1, right? It's 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, right? And in which octet the subnet generator is? The subnet generator is not in the first octet, but it is in the second octet. So the subnet generator is 1 and the octet position is 2. Now, let's take the IP address which is given in the question because we need that IP address in order to generate the subnet ranges. We know the IP address that is given in the question is 25.34.12.56. 25.34.0.0 is the first address of the first subnet. Why? Because this is a class B subnet mask. The first two octets must be fixed, right? So the first two octets are fixed. And we are starting from 0.0. .0. And what about the next subnet? We need to add the subnet generator in the octet position 2, right? And in which octet position we need to add? We need to add it in the second octet, right? Because the subnet generator is in the second octet position. So just add 1 to this place because the subnet generator is 1. Just add 1 to the second octet, we'll be getting 35. So the next subnet starts with 25.35.0.0. .0 .0. To get the next subnet, just add 1 to the second subnet, we'll be getting 25.36.0.0 and add 1 to the second octet of the third subnet, we'll be getting the fourth subnet, right? Which is 25.37.0.0 and so on. And what about the last IP address? Since the second subnet's first IP address is 25.35.0.0, then the previous address is 25.34.255.255. Please note here, it's 25.34.255.255. If you are not clear what is the next address to this, just make everything in binary, add 1 to this to the last position, you will be obviously getting this as the result. And obviously the second subnet will be ending with 25.35.255.255. Why? Because the next subnet starts with 25.36. Then the previous subnet should end with 25.35.255.255. And this continues. And I hope now we know where is the IP address that is mentioned in the question false. The IP address mentioned in the question is falling in the first subnet, right? In the first subnet, we know the first address is the network address and the last address is the broadcast address and we solve this problem. The network address for the given question is 25.34.0.0. So we did a reverse engineering approach in order to get the network address. We have another way to solve this problem. Let's see what is that way to solve this problem. In order to solve this, we need to take the IP address given in the question. The IP address which is given in the question is 25.34.12.56, right? Convert this into binary. So when we convert this 25, we'll be getting 8 bits, right? So 00011001 in the first octet. For 34, it is 001000010. 12, it is 00001100. And for 56, it is 00111000. You can manually do this and place it here. So step number one is we are taking the IP address mentioned in the question and we are converting that into binary. And step number two is what is the subnet mask that is mentioned in the question? Slash 16, right? Slash 16 means 16 consecutive ones. So we are placing 16 consecutive ones and 16 consecutive zeros. So this is a class B subnet mask. It's equivalent in decimal is 255.255.0.0. So we have taken the IP address and converted that into binary. And we have taken the subnet mask mentioned in the question and we also have converted that into binary. 
then we are going to do a very simple operation in order to get the network address. The operation is the bitwise AND operation. So I had performed the binary AND operation on these two inputs. 0 1 is 0, 0 1 is 0, 1 1 is 1, both inputs are high, right? So 1 1 is 1, if any one of the inputs is 0, obviously it is 0. And wherever we have 1 in both the places, then only will be getting high input, that is 1. So we got the binary result of the AND operation we had performed. Let's now convert that into its equivalent decimal. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. We have 1's against 16, 8 and 1. So 16 plus 8 plus 1 is 25, right? So we are getting 25 for this octet. And here we are getting 34. Here we are getting 0. And here we are getting 0. And what is this? And this is the network address. Very simple, you know. Just take the IP address, convert that into binary, take the subnet mask, convert that into binary, then perform the bitwise AND operation and whatever you get, just convert that into decimal, we will be getting the network address. So I hope now you know how to find the network address of the given network. So you can take any of the ways which I had taught you. You can go with the reverse engineering method or you can go with the AND operation method. And that's it guys, before we sign off, let's see the homework question. In a block of addresses, we know the IP address of one host is 182.44.82.16 slash 26. And what is the first address that is the network address in this block? I recommend you to go with the AND operation method because it will be the simplest method to solve this problem easily. I will give you a clue to do this. The subnet mask is mentioned in the slash notation. How many ones we need to make? we need to make 26 ones, right? So let me go to the previous slide. So in the previous slide, we used only 16 ones. But in this example, it is requiring 26 ones. So 8 ones here, 8 ones here. Make all these 8 bits as 1 and we will be getting 24 ones, 25, 26. Please watch it carefully. Up to this place, up to this bit, we need to make it as a 1, right? And then we'll be obviously having 6 zeros in the last. Try this problem and post your answer in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed this lecture and thank you for watching.